Hello everyone, this is Ryan here again, another episode of Professional Farmer 2014. I harvested a little bit more of this field between last episode and this episode, haven't done anything else. As you can see, my combine is full. And I just wanted to point out one thing here, if it'll still work. You know, my combine is full. And I can actually keep combining yet. Which I think is a pretty cool feature. Apparently it's uh, just dumping the crops out, I'm assuming. I don't believe it's actually filling up anymore. Yeah, I carry over completely full 5,000 and 5,000 here. So if I keep going, I'm just wasting my crops, which I think is pretty cool. Adds you know, a little bit more extra level of realism to it here. I guess we'll just drive the tractor over. Well, and maybe quicker to drive the combine over. F to open close the grain transporter. And we better get just a little bit closer too, because if we are not over the wagon here, we well it will spill the grain out there as well. That should be pretty good. And yeah, once we got this field done, we'll have to see if this uh, canola brings in any more money than our wheat did. It does seem like it's similar to farming sim in, the, in that it took quite a while to fill up the combine with this. Other than the little bit I wasted here, just seeing once what happened when I was full, pretty much took in this entire bit to uh, fill the combine up to 100%. So, From one thing I can tell about this game already, we're not going to be making massive amounts of money off our crops, so... Which made me want to look at animals a little more. I'm not sure if those are worth a whole lot more or not, but... As for animals, we only got what the game came with. Uh, one or two cows and a few chickens, so... I don't think we have any ducks that I recall. Now, talk about a uh, major weather change out by us. We went from about, uh, uh, wind chill wise anyway, about 40, 50 below. To now it's uh, 40 above, uh, 40 degrees out there, so almost a 80 to 90 uh, degree shift in uh, temperature. If you count the, count the wind chill. So, yeah, the snow is definitely uh, disappearing fast.
Now, I've noticed, too, all the fields that we don't own, at least most of them anyway, I don't believe I've seen any yet, all have crops on them. Unfortunately, I don't believe we can harvest them. I know in farming sim you actually can, if you, as long as the field's planted, even if you don't own it, you can harvest it. But you know, kind of a, on some maps is a good way to start. You may only own one or two fields. All the fields come planted, you can harvest all the fields and get a really good start that way. and we're probably going to do about this entire field before we get another full load on the combine here. Maybe not quite, but it'll probably be close. Oh yeah, okay, it says right here what we got. We got uh, two cows and five hens. And we got uh, 40,000 uh, euros for money. We got a $247,000 euro loan. That must mean we paid a little back already, I guess. Must mean um, it pays it back automatically, I'm assuming here, because I have not paid anything back. And yep, we own uh, three fields for a total of 3.4 hectares. And if we want a weather forecast, we need a meteor station, a met, met, uh, whatever, uh, meteor, uh, yeah. okay. We need a weather station, we'll call it that. <laughs> a meteorolog meteorological station. I'm assuming that's what they mean by that. Yeah, look at that, has got me all messed up, that's for sure. Well, it looks like this field makes up most of what we own. This is 2.52, two, yeah, 2.52 hectares. And we own 3.44, so... Yeah, this is by far the biggest field we own. Fertilization rate, 40%. Huh. That's weird. Pretty sure we, uh... Oh, maybe because we harvested it. That's probably why. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we fertilized this entire field. Ah, okay, yep. Fertilization rate is going down as well. So, okay. Never mind. That's a good thing. <coughs> nice if it would say somewhere what the going prices for the crops are. I don't believe it does that I recall. Uh, no objectives. Yep, we're in free play. Yeah, vehicles, workers, mechanics. Yeah, we can call for assistance, call for fuel. Yeah, okay, yeah, nothing exciting going on there, really. Yeah, so I guess we can't really tell what the uh, price for crops are here. Definitely like to see them add uh, yeah, another, maybe uh, like an F4 or something here. So you can see crop prices or add another tab under the uh, M key there. Whatever that home screen or whatever that's called there. So you can, you know, see what crop prices are and kind of get a little idea of what uh, we should plant versus, you know, a different one. I'm guessing this is probably like farming simulator in the fact that there's really no...
crop that is, you know, way, oh, wait. We should plant this because this is way better. You know, like farming sim too, and canola may be way expensive, but it only gives you about half the yield, so. Really no uh, distinct advantage, advantage there. As soon as we get this field done, we'll go sell what we got for uh, canola there. I see uh, no sense in hanging on to it. Don't believe I even have the uh, silos upgraded so I can hold it, if I recall. May have to look at that. Yeah, if we sell our crops right away, there's no sense in even uh, really upgrading our silos. Pretty much might as well just sell the crop right out because uh, it's not like you can play the market here from what I can tell. Not that you can really play the market in farming sim either, but you can at least wait. Oh, with the price is going down, we'll wait to sell it until the price is going back up. But if any of the other combines have open grain tanks. I know I remember uh, looking through them, but I don't recall if they had open grain tanks or not. This one obviously does not. And I'm beginning to think we should have bought a bigger header. Oh well, the little bit of money we make from our crops, we uh, definitely can't afford to be buying a whole lot of really nice equipment here. Yeah, for all this time, and we're only up to 69% so far. Wow. It's getting darker out. Either we got a cloud over us or is the uh, sun going down? See, it's 15.03, so that would be... That should only be 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That shouldn't be uh, going down yet, that's for sure. I wouldn't think. Yeah, sorry if you guys find this kind of boring, but that's about all we can do here is uh, harvest this uh, crop, so. And at the moment, this is really all the game has to offer, too, so it's pretty much going to be plant, harvest, plant, harvest. Fortunately, we can't really do a whole lot with animals yet other than purchase them. Yeah, we're getting full. Uh, get to the end of this row here, then we'll go uh, dump it out then. Yeah, 
Yes, your combine is overfilled. It's only 85%, that don't seem like that much. Definitely has some annoying flashing lights though. And we'll go uh, empty what we have in the combine here. Not quite full, but close enough. Oh, jeez. Stop the combine. My goodness. Interesting to note, it smacked the tractor pretty good and it didn't move anywhere. That's, uh, might have to try that one more time again. I don't believe there's any damage on these vehicles, so I don't think uh, it makes a difference if I crash and smash them, as far as I know. I'm just wondering if I can actually push this uh, tractor as it kind of sort of cemented there. Here I cannot push that tractor. Interesting. Yeah, we'll get this a little bit here in a minute. I'm mounted to a whopping total of 3 kg kilograms of, I'm assuming that's kilograms of canola or rape. And we're 85% done, so we're getting there pretty close. So like maybe another three or four rounds here we should have her. And by the way, if you guys think this looks dusty, you should see a real harvester when it's uh, dry out. Especially in the summertime when if you're doing wheat or... I was going to say oats, but oats are a little bit later yet, I believe. Mainly wheat. And you do it in the summer, you know, around July, August. If it's dry out, oh man, the dust that comes off these combines. Wow. Literally you'll just be hanging in the air with it. Now one good thing, this combine either holds a lot of fuel or doesn't use a whole lot. 
Probably holds a lot. Probably not a good thing. Haven't used a whole lot of fuel yet for all the combining we've done. wonder what happens if we try to drive faster. Move too fast. This overheats the engine loses some crops. Interesting. And look at the temperature gauge on the uh, side there. I think we better slow down. That's something I'll definitely have to look at and try in some time. A little bit early game. I kind of want to save all the crops I have. Uh, I kind of need the money, so. But uh, definitely want to give that another try. See what happens when we get that uh, temp all the way up there. Doesn't want to go that high. That would be interesting. It's all kinds of things I like to try with a game like this. You know, see what's what the uh, mechanics do, and yeah, see what's what you can break, so to speak. Guessing I'm backed into a tree there. Okay. Even though I'm not really that close to it. That was interesting there, going up that hill, the RPM revved way up, not sure what that was about. Okay, and we didn't quite get 100%, probably because of the little bits and pieces we missed over here. And there's a little bit missing over there as well. Yeah, a little bit of a hill there. It likes uh, to rub the RPMs there. Interesting. Well, even that doesn't get us quite to 100%, though. Normally, you don't have to have the field uh, picked clean like this. You can get away with leaving little bits and pieces here and there. Not that I don't mind. I probably would, but I'm just like to see it get to 100% here. Uh, there we go, 100, harvested 100%. Apparently we got to get every little bit and piece from the looks of it.
Okay, we'll go uh, unload this and then we'll go uh, sell it. Uh, get just a little bit closer here. Don't want to be losing any of this uh, precious canola now. And we'll just uh, drive this combine back home here a minute. This is our uh, cow area here. I guess that bunker there means that at some point we'll probably end up having to feed them somehow, some way. Also, I have been seeing a few uh, mods for this game as well. Nothing uh, major, but just a few miscellaneous odds and ends. Let's see what's your good place to park this thing. I'm gonna probably want the plow next, so... <coughs> yeah, probably back in this over here somewhere. stuck on something. <coughs> nope. Okay, there we go. Better, I'm just wondering. Uh, okay. Okay. We can uh, attach, detach the uh, header. Just wondering if we could or not, because I seen it didn't say we could, so. Just gotta press Q, that's all. <gasps> what, uh, M. So used to, you know, farming sim, you push farming sim, escape brings you to the, uh, this thing. And a pot, 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 pot. Going the right way here. Yeah, we got all these fenced off areas here, so that kind of suggests to me uh, there'll probably be more coming in this game eventually, I would think. Appears to be uh, bales over here. Actually, is this the bale cell point? I don't believe so. Bale cell point, I believe, is up here somewhere. I believe that bale icon, as far as I know. One place on this map I don't believe I've been yet. I believe I've been to all the other places. Been to the gas station and the, uh, the bank, farm store, machine store. Not such a, those two uh, fields are empty. Those are the three here that I own in career mode, by the way. This one and the other two over there.
gonna have to remember that when I buy a field, I'll have to make sure I buy it, you know, kind of like, uh, midsummer or something like that. That way it's all planted for us, we don't have to do uh, nothing as far as planting it, we just gotta harvest it in the, uh, fall. Hopefully this, uh, 82% uh, full Debra here will bring us in a little bit of cash. Definitely tell his tipper is getting dirty. Yeah, we're hogging up the road here. stack of bales there from the looks of it. The money's coming in. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, Six thousand dollars off of that. Guess I should uh, let that down, probably. Wouldn't want to be going down the road with that up. That's for sure. Everyone, I think I'll uh, call it an episode here. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.